happening at the health nucleus is the embracement of a variety of new technologies which have the ability to detect risk of disease in advance of the actual pathology of the disease. The important element here is if I can identify risk and I have a means of intervening on that risk, let's say coronary artery disease outcome of diabetes, I can modify that, that risk so that you do not have the pathology. We have been very successful in identifying early stage cancers, particularly in prostate, and uh, also in the occurrence of pulmonary uh, abnormality. So detections, the detection skills are extremely good with the new machines and the new algorithms for interpreting the image. Well, I, I've had, had the experience of a client coming in and saying, I don't want to know about the following diagnostic area, and I respect that. I've had them come back a year later and say, I do want to know that knowledge. So on occasion, it takes getting adjusted to the ability to predict the occurrence of risk for them to be comfortable with absorbing it. There's a, one other important element to this, and that is if a new therapeutic comes available, it changes the picture completely. They want the knowledge. The clients that come into the health nucleus come in really as healthy individuals, but they're seeking information that would permit them to intervene on any disease risk they, that we may detect. So they're motivated, once that risk is identified, to interrupt that pathway. And uh, that's where the value is. Family history is extremely important for us to be able to focus what we look for in these analyses. The example of early onset cardiovascular disease is an excellent one because we have uh, an inventory of therapeutics and devices and so forth that will intervene on disease extremely well. It's probably one of the best cat categories. So rather than uh, hiding your head and not knowing the information, it's best to get the information and then intervene on the problem. So one of the exciting cases that we resolved was a case in which our client had a brother with a serious disease and was being treated for it. And our studies indicated it was the wrong diagnosis. We corrected the diagnosis and got his brother onto proper therapy. And as it turns out, he had early symptoms of the same disease and was treated earlier without error.